Today, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, and we're going to be discussing the upcoming death cross. They call it a death cross when the 50 moving average crosses the 200 moving average in a downward way. To cross the 200 day moving average right here, and uh, that is known as a death cross. Update. I went into great length of detail in my last update. I'm not going to in this video. I wanted to let you know that as we're rising back up to the 50 period, uh, again, you're. So the death cross did end up being a massive magnet for Bitcoin, bringing us all the way back up to the 61, 62K region. This is something that's massive, but uh, I would not say that we're out of the woods yet. I would actually say that we're still very, very much in peril. Uh, and the circumstances right now, financially across the globe, are really, really bad. Potentially some of the worst we've seen ever in humanity, all right, bar like Roman times. But today we're going to be talking about the macro, the on-chain, the trades I'm going to be looking for, as well as a few other super important things as well. If you do see the secret code throughout the giveaway, pro <laughs> If you do see the secret code throughout this video, then be sure to throw it in the comments. You'll be entered into the monthly giveaway. Let's jump straight into this. Okay, let's start with the news here. Bitcoin bulls revisit 100k year end target as BTC spikes over 62k. This is crazy. I mean, we're literally, we're not even above the 50 EMA or the 50 SMA. So yeah, I don't know why these articles are coming out, but they're just trying to spark that bullishness. Okay, as well as that, we've got FTX ordered to pay 12.7 billion to creditors by the US judge that could be absolutely devastating so keep an eye on that one a little bit too early because uh, we need dates and stuff like that for this one but uh, keep an eye on that one right moving on the market green very very green uh, as of yesterday's pump obviously we had that uh death cross uh, being a bit of a magnet we talked about that the other day pretty much in the dump we talked about that but uh yeah so we up 32 percent brett banging it here okay and we're also seeing hnt make 19% gains. But yeah, pretty green across the board. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, if we are looking at fear and greed here, we can see back up to a 48. That that recovered fairly quickly. <laughs> I mean, quite worryingly, actually. I do think we get a pullback very, very soon. I'll explain that in a minute. But yeah, uh, a little bit less fearful across the market, more neutral. If we are looking at Bitcoin ETFs here, we can see that, uh, yeah, it's currently at 200 mil... <laughs> it's currently 200 million inflows yesterday. That is incredible. Okay, not a complete recovery as you can see here on the right, but uh, yeah, looking a lot better. If we're looking at Ethereum, if I do just quickly pull this up, we can see, uh, yes, yeah, minus 2 million yesterday. So yeah, back where you belong, Ethereum, you're dirty. Okay, uh, Bitcoin energy value here currently at 81,000. You guys know the drill with this. When we get above that line, it's crucial time for another rhyme which is actually just banging it towards the upside okay completely freestyled that incredible but yeah uh, if we can get above 81k fantastic stuff uh, besides that yes still looking fairly sideways i would expect uh, over the next uh, few days yeah, so if we are looking generally at the on-chain, how much the miners are spending, we are still in that nosedive, very, very bad for Bitcoin. And typically, uh, we can get capitulation events if this will continue this slope down. So be very, very careful of another dump here and watch this intently or just follow the channel uh, because I'll update you guys on this every single day. Uh, if we are looking at the liquidation heat map, just a quick refresh here because it's been up for a while, we can see that, uh, yeah, okay, we do have a pretty important level around 60,000. Naturally, it's quite a round number. Um, I would say it's quite plausible. We do actually visit under 60,000 today if this does want to trickle down a little bit lower. Uh, we are attempting to break this um, kind of local small time frame low here. So uh, we'll have to watch this intently. But uh, yeah, I mean, we thought similarly yesterday and we just banged it. So maybe we do bang it a bit higher. But we've got to remember that CME gap is filled now. So uh, let's jump into the charts now and get on with the TA. Okay, so let's just jump into this. We can see here we do have the 200 SMA and the 50 SMA here as well. Uh, these have not crossed as of yet, but we did talk about them uh, as they were close to crossing. Uh, as, as we were coming down here, right, we said, hey, this will probably act as a magnet very, very soon. So after this dump, we did get a massive pump all the way back up to it on the daily. Again, we are still looking for that higher low on the daily. I do think it's possible we can come down here uh, very, very shortly to really just make some kind of higher low. If we don't and we blast through that, 
that's absolutely fine, okay, because the market will enter essentially easy mode, and if we do a look at previous cycles, I know every other channel's talking about this, so I'm not going to spend too long on it, but we can see here, right, we get that pullback, right, then we go sideways for a bit and oscillate, and then we bang it, okay, uh, let's have a look at the time before that one, okay, this one, all right, even this one, we did have a, a pretty major death cross, but uh, we did pull back to that uh, afterwards, obviously this is in a, a bear market, so if we are going to enter a bit more of a bear market situation, which is is still possible, uh, I would definitely be watching that 200 uh, because if we can stay uh, basically below that 200, then uh, it's quite likely that, uh, that, that things get a lot worse, all right? But... But, but, but if we do get above both of these, we could even fade the death cross altogether and we could have that rounding off of moving averages and literally just do something like this, right? Uh, that would be fantastic in which market enters easy mode, in which we all make tons of money again and it's great, okay? But we're realistic here on the channel. We're non-biased and what we are going to say is we have just got above this trend line, right? This trend line is super important, okay? We are retesting it right now. If Bitcoin wants to absolutely bang it, today has got to be the day. I don't imagine this happening on the weekend because we'll have a massive CME gap. But uh, I mean, anything can happen here in Bitcoin land. All right. So what we will say is, yes, we are more looking towards a downside move here, uh, potentially uh, today or Monday. But overall, we are saying that, um, yeah, the fact that we've got this close to these uh, these moving averages is pretty pretty good. Okay, it's pretty good uh, because we can essentially have that as an opportunity or potential uh, that we, we had above it and over it, right? Um, but yeah, I think I've spent enough time on that. We are right back inside the bull market barrier. You guys know the drill here with this thing, right? If we are above the bull market barrier, massive, massive bull market, let's go, all right? If we're below it, bear market. Uh, and currently, we are attacking it again. As, as the creator of this guy, uh, the creator of this indicator would say, it's a battle for the bull market barrier. A battle between the banks of Bitcoin with brothers and, yeah, everything, right? So what we will say with this is, yeah, a little bit better. Uh, this will be our crucial support moving forward. But uh, if we do close today underneath that, it's a terrible sign. And I would just expect sideways over the weekend more than anything, okay? Um, let's just take a look at some other stuff here so we can see. Uh, we did talk about this in our update today. Uh, we are looking potentially for a short here. And the short we're looking for is very, very simple, okay? Uh, we're just looking for that, okay? We're looking to break this trend line, okay? So the trend line we made yesterday uh, and the day before and also break the low at the same time, okay? We have um, tested this low just now, okay? But if we can break both of these bad boys, then there might be a short back down to the price action channel for a couple percent here, very, very easy, all right? Um, we'll see how that goes, but uh, this could get a lot worse than that as well. Uh, and the reason for that is because of this, right? So if we do bring up like the four hour here, we can see a nice little trend line coming through here from our lows, okay, candle bodies. And uh, with that thing, Yes, I mean, that would potentially target 58k uh, for a uh, low here today if this does want to absolutely blast down, which is a possibility. Okay, it is Friday. So uh, yeah, we'll just see how this goes. But overall, not looking too bad here. Obviously, we did close that four hour candle earlier above uh, this breakdown point we were talking about previously. So uh, definitely something that is looking a bit more bullish. But uh, again, we have just had a massive uptrend. Okay, so a pullback, some sideways action in this area is probably a bit healthier than us just blasting through uh, and then potentially having another crash, right? Um, if we are going to bring up our, let's just take a look at this. Let's just take a look at that. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking about that intro TA thing this morning and I don't want my chart to look like that at all, right? <laughs> but um, yeah, that guy is a good guy though. He's, he, he does make some good points. I don't want to uh, grill anyone here in the YouTube space. But uh, yeah, what we can say here, if we are looking at the volume weighted ATR bands here, uh, we can see that yes, we have lost the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band, which is not a great sign. Okay, we are still above the 60 minute. So that's not bad. All right, the 60 minute currently around 60K. So if we do lose both of those at the same time, Time, uh, potential to come lower, of course. Okay, but we'd only really be targeting this short down uh, anyway. And, and you could probably take some profit uh, around this 60 minute anyway uh, for 1% for or so. All right. Uh, I do imagine we just wick through it a little bit anyway to, ke to get that 1%. I don't think it's just going to be a, 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 a some like a half, half move, right? Uh, I do think because of the momentum we've had up, we should be expecting some decent momentum towards the downside. Some decent spillover. All right. Um, and then besides that, yeah, we do have this kind of structural area uh, and this trend line that needs retesting as well. Right, so we've got this trend line coming through. 
Retesting this for a little bump and run scenario does make sense to me. 57.3 would be the target there. Uh, so just keep an eye on this area, this kind of level here, because uh, this is a zone we just blasted through. And we, when we do blast through zones like this, uh, it becomes a, some, some sort of a, a liquidity slash liquidation zone in which they do like to bring price back to. Okay, so uh, just keep an eye on that one. That one, that one is super important. All right. Uh, if we are looking, yeah, this is pretty much the same story here. The same story. Um, we do have some, some other trend lines here on the four hour uh, that we have got above. Okay. Okay. And with that, yes, uh, we could get a small bump and run if it is super aggressive here. But again, we are more targeting this trend line here. We do have the 15 minute volume weighted ATR band as well down there. And typically when we are in uptrends, um, especially after dumps as well, right, we can see that we love to test this lower 15 minutes in our pullbacks, right, pretty much every single time. So uh, yes, we are going to be watching this intently because this will be an area uh, not just for a buy, but an area uh, to potentially target to short to for a take profit, okay? Um, um, that is pretty much all I've got for you today, guys. Uh, I do just want to say in terms of volume and stuff like this, as I pick my nose, um, we can see that, yes, we did have this uh, this this volume that we were talking about. Oh, we want to talk about this on an hourly, actually, more importantly. Okay, interesting. Okay, interesting. So, um, yeah, scratch what I just said. We didn't get much volume here. Uh, I mean, we did when we look at the previous kind of market, but I was expecting a bit more volume for an uptrend here as everyone would jump in. But um, no, it doesn't seem to have gone that way. And if we do look at the four hour, that volume is now coming down as well. So um, yeah, I would just say it's looking a, m a lot more like sideways coming through here uh, rather than us absolutely blasting it. But I'm happy to be proven wrong here. If we blast it, it's not a problem. And uh, yeah, well, We'll just move forward from that point but uh yeah i mean pretty decent recovery so far we've got that death cross looming uh typically with death crosses as we've talked about uh, if we can get above it fantastic stuff uh Typically, I would expect a rejection here, okay, and then coming down to test the high 50s again, uh, and then from that point, we can reanalyze, reassess whether we do think this is going lower or whether we do think it's a recovery from that point. But again, we're really just looking for that higher low anywhere around the 57 to 60K region, oh, sorry, 57 to 58, 5K region, uh, and then we can start targeting a potential massive grid bot here or we can start targeting uh, some measure move kind of strategies coming through, okay? Um, Besides that, I did just want to take a look at hash rate here. Okay, so hash rate is actually now below and comfortably below uh, the moving averages here. This is another bad on-chain sign. So we saw that on-chain earlier in the quick rapid update. All right, uh, and now we are seeing that uh, the, the miners are below this. It's not crazy low, okay? It's not like it's falling off a cliff. If I do show you previous uh, major dumps, you can see it's fallen off a cliff there, fallen off a cliff there. So uh, yeah, we Nothing's confirmed yet in terms of this, and we haven't got any cross here uh, on this for a cap capitulation event. But um, yeah, not fantastic here, and we are seeing that mi that minor price, uh, so the money they're spending on mining decrease as well. So just keep an eye on that one for another crash, because that could be a possibility here. The on-chain, the supply, the demand, the ETFs, uh, this is really what's gonna be driving the market over the next year. Uh, and if you're ignoring that and just focusing on patterns and stuff like this, uh, you're probably a bit behind, all right? So the patterns are important. TA is important, the structure is important, but the supply and demand is what drives the asset, okay? So that is what we're going to be looking at here, and this is uh, this is really what we're going to be watching over the weekend especially, all right? Um, that's going to be it from me. Check out Prime XBT in the description if you want to enter weekly trading competitions where you can win $500 for first, $350 for second, and... 150 for third okay um yeah i'm currently doing that at the moment i'm gonna make a weekly video on these contests showing you my journey so day one i did this day two i did this and and, and just show you guys what it's like day by day to be a trader in a short form video because it might not be um you might not be able to get the grasp of it through these updates that i'm doing but uh, i'll show you a little bit of emotion i'll show you a little bit of uh, how i'm feeling about the markets and the strategies and how i'm adjusting as things go on uh, so hopefully you can look forward to that video and if you have got any value from this then be sure to give it a like leave me a comment with the uh yeah with the secret code if you saw the secret code leave me a comment okay you'll be entered into the monthly giveaway uh, and that is going to be it from me have a fantastic day and i'll see you very very soon cheers